The fabric has been folded into four, which means it is for both the front and the back of the kimono. The width is 22.5 inches and the length is 58 inches. The first thing I will be doing is marking out 5 inches and that will be used for my collar. And I'll be cutting it out. Now I will be marking 4 inches and that will be used as belt for my kimono and I will be cutting that out. I will be marking my neck measurement which is 3 inches downwards and 3 inches across. I will just be using my curve ruler to curve it out. I am going to be marking out the back neck measurement of the kimono which is 1 inch downwards. Now I will be going to the edge and marking 1 inch downwards for the shoulder slope. I will be using my ruler to connect that to the neckline. I will just be going ahead to cut the back neckline of my kimono along with the shoulder line. Now I will be going to the edge and marking my armhole which is 8 inches downwards. I am going to the bottom of the kimono and I'm marking 10 inches and the logic here is hip measurement minus 4 then whatever you get you divide it by 4 and add 1 inch sewing allowance. I am just going to use my chalk to connect that to the armhole this way. I will just be cutting off the excess fabric. I will just go ahead and remove the back of my kimono now. I am folding the front. I will be measuring 7 inches down from the neckline and marking it. And I will be cutting it out. So this is the back of the kimono and this is the front of the kimono. This is going to be the collar that goes all the way around and this will be the belt. For sewing it, the first thing I will be doing is sewing up the shoulders. If you are new to my channel, I post DIY tutorials, sewing tutorials and pattern drafting tutorials. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers so please help me achieve that. Now I am just going to go ahead to fold and pin up the arm hole before taking it to the sewing machine to sew.
I will be doing this for the other side as well. I'm just going to go ahead and sew the side seams. This is what the kimono is looking like right now. So what is left is for me to add color to the kimono all round. So I discovered my fabric won't be enough for my color so I am adding the red crepe fabric to it. So I'm just going to join that together. I am just going to start pinning my collar from the bottom of my dress and it is going to go all the way around back to where I started from. I will be sewing the collar right now. Then I will go ahead and sew the belt for the kimono. My kimono is all ready now. Let me know how you are going to be styling your kimono in the comments below. Are you going to be styling it with the belt or without the belt and how would you be wearing it? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video. Bye.